Hey guys, this is Log of One, and this video is an update to my previous speedrunning guide on the KO Perico heist after the Los Santos Tuners DLC. And there is only one major change, and that is the door glitch, also known as the gold glitch, which was patched in this DLC update. Even though my guide mentioned a way to speedrun without doing the glitch, this updated guide will be a lot simpler now. And just like before, you need to buy the Phantom Wedge and the Oppressor Mark II in order for this guide to be applicable. If you haven't bought it yet, then I will recommend you to do so as fast as possible. And this guide will also cover both consoles and PC. This is because exclusive to PC, you can job warp mid-prep missions to reduce your travel time. Now usually, you cannot use jobs on the map during any free mode mission because all job icons disappear. However, if you launch an invalid job before starting the mission itself, then those jobs will be visible on your map. Make sure to show them all from your hide options under the interaction menu. And now once you launch the mission, you can start any job that is near to the mission checkpoint from the map itself. However, you need to use the right mouse button to cancel the job before it completely loads in. Doing so spawns you and your personal vehicle at the location of the job. Alright. Let's get started. Now, before you launch your gather intel mission, what you want to do is to make a quick call to Simeon or any other contact of your choice and request a job. I will explain later on what to do with this job invite. And as I have mentioned before, if you are on PC, start any invalid job so you can instantly teleport to the mission checkpoint, thereby saving couple minutes in the process. Now, during the gather intel mission, you will only be scoping the primary target and the secondary targets inside the compound. And now, as soon as you are done with it, just accept the job invite, and then quit the job when the job menu opens up. This is applicable to consoles as well. This will allow you to complete the gather intel mission instantly, and you will respawn at the docks. Now the advantage it offers is that the docks is very close to the Meriwether headquarters, now, respawn your Oppressor Mark II and your Kasatka while flying towards the Meriwether headquarters. This method is a bit faster and more beneficial than using the Creator method. Land your Mark II at the nose of the submarine in a stable state. If it starts to tilt even a little bit, get back on it and park it again. Now, start your weapons prep mission. For this one, do not start an invalid job. If you get the Meriwether mission, you can now blow up the Valkyrie even faster, since you are right next to it. Keep doing this till you get the office prep. And during the office prep mission, you will want to do it completely stealth by killing only 3 guards. Trust me, it is faster to do so. For finger corner prep, just ricochet a grenade and take cover on your right. Don't even bother turning off power to the cameras outside. And now once near the laptop, keep calling Simeon or any other contact who can pick up calls, in order to skip Pavel's dialogues, till the objective to, hack the computer, appears. During the plasma cutter prep, just move forward a little, and take the picture of the board, instead of going all the way to the board. And if you are on PC, you can job warp to the next mission objective for both of these missions, since you are not carrying any heist prep equipment. This will save couple of minutes on each prep. Now, if the archive location of the finger cloner was at East Vinewood, then you need to respawn your Kasatka near the Palomino Highlands, where the news headquarters are. And this scenario, you should start the safe codes prep mission. Here the nearby spawn location of the Kasatka comes in handy, along with ownership of Casino Penthouse. It will not only speed up your entry into the penthouse, but after collecting the safe codes, you can blow yourself up. Doing so will spawn you at the news headquarters as well as complete your prep mission, and now you can fly back to your Kasaka much faster. As you can see, you are saving a lot of travel time by doing so. In any other scenario, you should start the cutting torch prep instead. No need to job warp for this one, because the mission locations are fairly nearby. And as mentioned before in part 3 of this guide, just equip the hard hat, and easily collect the cutting torch without dealing with the guards. Once completed, your final prep will be approach vehicle. For this one, we will be selecting Longfin. And if you are on PC, then I will recommend setting up an apartment heist and a doomsday heist. This is because, once you collect the Longfin trailer, you will get a wanted level. 
This trick will let you get rid of the wanted level instantly by accepting the heist apartment invite. And now you can job warp to the docks. Since the trailer is attached to the phantom wedge, both will be teleported to the docks as well. And there you go, the long fin prep mission will be completed in less than 2 minutes. So basically, all you will be doing is, warping to the police station, collecting the trailer with the phantom wedge, accepting the heist apartment invite to get rid of the wanted level, job warping again to the docks, and then finally delivering it to the checkpoint. For console users, I will recommend to blow yourself up, and then deliver the trailer. Now if you will be using the main docks as entrance with your long fin. Your main aim is to collect, whatever secondary targets you see first. Do not bother to check where you can find stacks of coke. It is entirely possible, that you will only get cash, or weed at these locations. As you can see on the map, there will be 8 tables, that you can easily loot from, before heading to the compound, which should be enough to fill your bags. And along the way, just keep a lookout for guard clothing, so it gets easier to walk and drive around. And now once, inside the compound, do not bother with finding the keys. Just fill your bags with secondary targets, and head straight to the office, knocking the three personal guards along the way. If you get the keys, then jump off and run to the gates. Otherwise just hack the elevator, since you came to the office, to collect the safe money anyways. After collecting the primary target, just take the mansion scout and make the jump from the cliff. Keep swimming, and eventually the text, Escape KO Perico, will disappear, indicating that your heist is complete. And that's about it. By my rough calculations, it will take roughly 30 to 35 minutes on PC, if you plan to use job warps, otherwise it will take 40 to 45 minutes, to complete the entire heist. You might not be able to complete the heist just as fast instantly, as you will be making a lot of mistakes during your first few times. But the more you do it, quicker you will get. Minute by minute. There are other speedrunning strats, that I have used in my speedruns, like using personal vehicle at KO Perico during gather intel mission, blocking spawns for certain missions, to get better spawn locations, hangar running, and not collecting secondary targets. This is because, the aim of my speedrun, was to get the quickest time not to make the most money in least amount of time. So that's why I have not included them in this guide. I hope that using these methods, you will be able to improve your time and make money faster. Feel free to share in the comments, if you have any questions. If you found this helpful, feel free to like and share. And I will see you guys later.